Rebuild 2016 Honda. So um, if you want to uh, subscribe and like the button, and um, of course, um, hit the is, is tiny bells and the sides so they can notifications when we have the new videos coming. So this baby girl is all done. Represent you, 2016 HRB. How beautiful is that? What's up, everybody? This is Dave Pereira. Like she said, it's done. The 2016 Honda HRV is done. But look at this beauty. But only small thing. The AC is not that cold enough for me. I'm not satisfied with the cold. The is, is the temperature wise. I need to be cold, like freezing cold in my AC. So I probably send this to the mechanic and let him check it out what's going on or maybe he he can charge it i already charge it by my stuff what what's up mama come here this is milo he thinks he's the boss he sleeps by me so he thinks he's the boss of this house so he doesn't like loud noises i talk loud what mm-hmm I see you. Ooh. You want to make a scene today. So, anyhow, let's go around it and check it out. Yes, yes, I got all the lights because every time I do it, I have to hit my flashlight to see inside of to show you guys the inside. We got the key. So, I got two keys, which is a good thing. Boom. So, as you guys saw my early videos, the whole front end was gone. But we bought aftermarket headlights, which is pretty good. Aftermarket grill gives that, he popped that out. That aggressive look. And the fog lights, LED. Yes, Milo. And also, I blacked out the rings. <laughs> Let's start this bad boy out. It does not have a... Before we start it out, let's go inside and check it out. So, you guys see, I got my famous tiger print. Nobody put zebra, but the tiger wheel looks way better than that. So, look how clean it is. Like I said earlier, the car was owned by a dragon who smokes cigarettes. And a pig, so it's like a hmm, need to come up with something. So, dragon, like a pig and a dragon, dragon. It was owned by a dragon. Basically, he smoked cigarettes and put the whole car, treated the whole car as his ashtray, which is pretty nasty. But we vacuum it, we blow the oil out of it, and we shampoo the whole thing. And ah, it smells wonderful. And probably I'm gonna hit two bombs to destroy all that, eliminate everything. And like you guys saw, I did change the, the cabin filter. It's a pretty, look at this guy. He makes it boy. Oh, he's a pretty guy. So, like you can see, it's pretty clean. And let's start this bad boy up. <sighs> so the cool thing about this car, this turned green when every time you drive and when you don't hit the gas, it turned green, which basically saying like, hey, you're saving gas, keep on doing that. So pretty, pretty good. And like you see, it has 25,000, miles. Pretty good. I probably need to kill the car because there's no gas. 
Pandora. Look at this guy. Connect to my whole thing, iPod, beat sound system. And look at this. Voila. It basically shows the side cameras. You guys want to see my toolbox? Right. I probably need to kill this car because Because it's out of gas And I left my wallet at work So I survived without my wallet For two days So it's all cleaned up Let me turn it off before I have to push this guy. All right, let's talk about the whole deal. So, <clears throat> this, why this was a big headache. First of all, this whole section, we replaced it. What, mama? For some reason, the ECU went bad. What? Come here. You're disturbing my video. <laughs> He's a talker. Come here, mama. Come here, sweetie pie. All right, let's talk about it. The ECU was gone. The EGR was gone. And also, the damn speed sensor was damaged. So somehow it got damaged way over there. So that was, we fix everything. And all of a sudden the speedometer doesn't know. I was like, shit, what's going on? Then I was like, ah, the transmission speed sensor. So we got a brand new parts, replace everything. So basically it's good to go. As soon as I fix the AC problem, this car is gold. I already posted, so hopefully I'll sell it soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Because I spent close to 10 grand, so I'm posting for 14.99. I already got an offer for 13. I said like, hey, come up with 13.5 or 14, and I'll sell it for 413. Three, four thousand bucks, right? <laughs> so. It, I put a fresh oil, so it has fresh oil. Basically, whole this section is brand spanky new parts. Uh, air filter is brand new. And so we're going to fix the AC problem tomorrow. Look at how spacious it is. I mean, it's a small car and it gives, this is not the all-wheel drive car, but it freaking gives 35 miles per gallon. I mean, shit, I want to buy one of these, like 35 miles per gallon, and it's a big, it has space. It's, it's, it's like a small tank, you know? I mean, it has a pretty good size trunk. Trunk space, look at it. It is huge. And there's a dog right there. He's not come with the car. And also, you can hold this and put this whole thing down. Not gonna do that because I have to deal with the seat is way back. And it's pretty pretty spacious. I mean and also if you want bigger one, you can just hold it like that. Mm, probably they fold it. It's not folded now. You can put other stuff. Boom. So and also it has paddle shifters the whole entertainment system, eco button, if you feel like saving gas, or kind of out of money, you need to save gas. So, this car is pretty cool. I love this. It has everything you want. I mean, it has four brand new tires, it has a sunroof, backup cameras, side cameras. 
I love this car. I mean, literally, I would buy this. But I, I, I love power. I need the power. So, let me close this bad boy. Look at this, guys. It's a pretty good car. So, fingers crossed, I will sell this bad boy soon and we'll go to the other one. Sorry about it's the 2012 Challenger. The Renegade is in, already in the shop, probably will be done soon. So, we'll be doing a video on that. Sorry, I did not post for two, three weeks because I've been extremely, extremely busy. Um, not and because of the ECU problems and everything so I have other stuff going on I've been cleaning the house and all that you know the work kind of a my job and all that so it's been a pretty rough week so anyhow we are done and the gas cap this is the maxi boy he's not gonna come with the car so if you guys have any kind of questions, uh, I can do a video on how to remove the transmission speed sensor in the next one. So let me know what you guys think. I know it's been a, and I was supposed to post a one video every week, but I got delayed. But anyway, it is done. So hopefully we will sell this car and we'll go to the Jeep Renegade, the 2015 Renegade 4x4. I'm pretty excited on that. So I'll see you guys on next week with the 2015 Renegade. This is Dave Pereira signing on. See you guys later. Thank you.